everywhere in the U.S. is not the same. Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel. Let's dive right into this chit chat. We're talking about moving to Germany, okay? I have a few notes here so I wanna just make this pretty quick because this is not a, a long one. Um, but this one is more so talking about kind of some of the challenges that could be possibly faced, challenges I faced, um, and just getting over some hurdles prior to your relocation to um, your next destination. All right, so I'm gonna first just discuss um, and challenges that you can encounter while preparing to move to germany okay so think about first and foremost the biggest challenge you're gonna find if you don't speak german is interacting with the locals or people that you may need to do business with i.e you may need to rent a car when you get there you may need to talk about uh, your passport documentations or paperwork or anything like that in order to get you started i.e getting into your hotel or uh, making reservations for a new hotel any of those things the number one issue that you may have or not even issue but the challenge you may face is the language barrier okay so be prepared be patient and consider you're going into another country and english may not be the number one spoken language all right so keep that in mind the second one let's talk about a uh, visa process so i have not had any issues with getting my visa or not getting the visa but getting my passport and sofa stamp okay so once you submit for your passport and um your stamp you you did the paperwork to do all of that so once you submitted for that and you got the passport back then you should have gotten the sofa stamp in the passport if not do your research, talk to whoever you're coordinating with in order to get that um, the required stamp to make sure you have all that's needed to um, get that done. Apologies for the noise, my neighbors are removing their trash can. <laughs> so anyway, just don't forget to coordinate and ask those questions for getting the stamp if you have not already gotten that prior to your arrival, which I believe you absolutely need to have that, okay? Um, let's talk about cultural differences, right? Another possible uh, challenge you may face. I'm not sure where you're from, um, but know that everywhere in the U.S. is not the same, right? And then you go into a foreign country, they're not going to do things the same way you do things here. So keep that in mind. Cultural differences, background, you we, we're all different people coming from different places um, with different thoughts and different ideologies and things like that. So keep that in mind um, when you're interacting and encountering different people from different cultural backgrounds because it may not just be Germans when you uh, go overseas, wherever you may be going. So just keep that in mind, okay? during your planning stage depending on where you are doing your planning stage you may face challenges with getting things done if you do not have someone to coordinate things for you so that it's it's helpful and it's not um overwhelming for you so keep that in mind do your research connect with expats that are already in the location you're going to you can do that via facebook groups um there are plenty of them out there for all different places i've searched for germany and there are expat groups um on facebook for german uh for germany they can answer questions that they've already um, gone through certain processes that you may have questions about all right so keep that in mind i cannot highlight the importance of doing your research so i'm i'm going to germany if you're not going to germany it doesn't matter where you're going do your research think about all the things that you may encounter um, things you may need to do things you may need to have things you may need to be considering and if you don't know because we don't know what we don't know right then ask questions to people who have already gone where you're going or who are where you are or who are where you're going all right so consider that and those are resources that you need to tap into sooner than later so i talked the last time i got on uh, the chat about um shipping a car so i will say i did not have to ship a car good thing right but if you are shipping a car tap into resources ask questions talk to your relocation company um do whatever you need to do to get the answers you need because it is a lot involved with relocating overseas um and you just want to be prepared but it can become overwhelming in getting prepared if you do not have the right resources or don't know where to go right so just 
ask questions, talk to your relocation team, um, talk to expats and connect with people in these Facebook groups that are where you're going. Um, if you have family members that have traveled to these different places or are living in these different places, connect with them, reach out with them, reach out to them and ask questions, okay? So the other thing that I'm thinking about now that I am encountering is I'm going to need, when I get to Germany though, I'm going to need to get around for a bit. And I do have, um, there's a shuttle bus connected to where I'm going to be staying that I could take to get me around, but I don't want to rely on that, right? So now I'm thinking about, okay, when I arrive, I'm going to need to rent a car. Now the question is, is do I rent the car from the airport or do I rent the car, you know, once I touch down locally via, I don't know, some local, you know, rental car company, I, I'm not sure, right? So I'm thinking now I have to do some research. Okay, if I rent a car from the airport, what does that process look like? When I touch down, it's all gonna be foreign to me because I don't really know my way around the um, airport like that. I don't really know the language that well. <laughs> So it'll be a lot involved there, right? So I'm considering, like I'm telling you guys to do, reaching out to um, my uncle who lives in Germany as well to ask these questions and help facilitate me or help facilitate my arrival. So maybe he could come up and meet me. Um, maybe he can help me rent the car. But first and foremost, I'm starting my research with understanding if the airport has rental car services and what I will need upon arrival to attempt to make a reservation to rent the car. So that's kind of where I'm starting. Um, other than that, I haven't faced too many challenges and I've been tapping into resources just like I'm telling you guys to tap into. Uh, we will tap back in once I actually arrive in Germany and we will talk about kind of some of that onboarding process of things that I've had to do, some things that I've recognized or learned in the, the transition over. Um, we'll, we'll talk about all of that, right? So just stay tuned and tap back in when we connect for the next video. All right, talk to you later, guys. Ooh.